Okay, so uh, just a couple of weeks ago, um, you came and filmed me uh, walking around the new lab space we've been given, and I was a little bit circumspect about how it was going to turn out. And so now I'm going to show you the results. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep you in suspense, so you can think about for a few seconds whether it's a disaster or not. Um, but you'll soon have a, have a quick look and uh, you'll see how, how it's turned out. So I've got used to the stairs now, up and down, quite a lot. Um, we've been there about a week. Um, and I have to say the school was fantastic. We got lots of help cleaning up. Well, here it is. Um, it's locked. <laughs> Let's unlock it. Um, so we found a use for this outside room, which we're very happy with. And so in here are, are all the crustaceans. Hi, Sunir. How are you doing? Um, and so we've moved up the big incubator, which has all the little prawns in them that we work on. The, the amount of space is just uh, a real luxury compared to before. And as you can see in here, it's a complete transformation. This is like a changing room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It didn't have, took a bit longer than 24 hours. I'm done. And uh, people have sort of moved in and started working pretty much straight away. There's been no problems, everything's working straight out, box. Really relieved, really happy. Um, it's nice to be self-contained um, and, and have everyone in the same space. Um, one thing I mentioned last time was that we were hoping that this room would be a place we could keep the worms so they weren't over in biology. And so we've just moved a few over to see how they're doing. And they've been here about a week and I fed them a couple of times. And hopefully, if you're lucky, once the light hits them, they'll start moving around. Uh, it's just so I know they're sexual as opposed to asexual. These guys, mate, my plans aren't particularly sexy. It's just uh, shorthand for sexual. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe. We do fluorescent, mis fluorescent microscopy. So basically, we shine um, UV light on the sample. Uh, and we put it through filters of various wavelengths so we can uh, use antibodies to stain different parts of the animals like the brain or the musculature or the gut um, and so you need darkness for that because obviously ambient light will interfere with the signal um, and this is the office, excuse us everyone everybody has a desk just about I think we have internet up and running ish so, yeah. so nobody falls behind on their email and their Facebook you know, it's the essential thing to everybody. It's a bit warm in here, but um, somebody gave us some fans.